In this tutorial we will use DeepStream for car, pedestrian and road signs detection. DeepStream could be useful for IoT device development, so in this tutorial we will use Jetson or Nano as edge device. After installation of DeepStream SDK, we will install Python bindings to enable development using Python. And, finally, we will use it with ROS2. Let's briefly review what DeepStream is. DeepStream is an integral part of NVIDIA Metropolis. NVIDIA Metropolis features GPU accelerated SDKs and developer tools which offer a more cost effective way to build, deploy, and scale AI enabled video analytics and IoT applications. DeepStream is a platform to build end to end solutions for transforming images to valuable information. DeepStream SDK is a streaming analytics toolkit based on Streamer for AI based multi sensor processing, video, audio, and image understanding. GStreamer is a pipeline based multimedia framework that links together a wide variety of media processing systems to complete complex workflows. DeepStream can take streaming data from USB or CSI camera, video from file or streams over real-time streaming protocol. Here are some features of DeepStream SDK. DeepStream SDK has a feature of running inference in native TensorFlow and TensorFlow TensorRT using Triton Inference Server. Triton Inference Server is an open-source inference serving software that streamlines AI inferencing. Development can be done using DeepStream Python bindings. In this tutorial we will use this feature. Using standard message brokers like Kafka and MQTT or with Azure Edge IoT, Edge to Cloud integration is possible. This means that it is possible to use it even in an environment with unstable network. Turnkey deployment of models trained with Tau Toolkit is also possible. Tau stands for Training, Adapting and Optimizing. NVIDIA Tau Toolkit is a low-code AI toolkit built on TensorFlow and PyTorch, which simplifies and accelerates model training process. Now let's install DeepStream. Go to the NVIDIA DeepStream SDK Developer Guide page. The installation procedure is described in the Install Jetson SDK Components section under the Quick Start Guide. Firstly, install dependencies. These are mostly GStreamer related packages. Just copy these commands to the terminal and execute them. Next, we are going to install librd Kafka library. LibRD Kafka is a high-performance C implementation of the Apache Kafka client, providing a reliable and performant client for production use. Clone the LibRD Kafka repository. Move to the LibRD Kafka repository. Git reset command resets the current head to the specified state. The hard option means that Git resets the index and working tree, whereas the soft option does not touch the index file or the working tree at all. Execute the configure command. The configure command is a common way to configure and prepare software source code for compilation on Linux systems. Then execute the make command. The make command compiles different program pieces and builds a final executable. The purpose of the make command is to automate file compilation, making the process simpler and less time consuming. Execute the sudo make install command. This command copies files into some appropriate locations so that they can be accessed. Finally, copy the generated libraries to the DeepStream directory.
Now we are going to install DeepStream SDK. Firstly, download the tar file. Note that we should download the file suitable for our architecture. In this case, Jetson. Here, select the third file from the top. It will take a while before the download completes. After the file is downloaded, move it to the home directory. Extract the compressed file using the tar command. The tar command allows to create and extract tar archives. TBZ2 extension means that tar file is compressed using the bzip2 algorithm. Move to the deep stream directory. Execute the install shell script. Execute the LD config command. The LD config command is used to tell the system about new locations of shared libraries. We have successfully installed DeepStream SDK. Now we are going to install DeepStream Python bindings. Go to this Git repository. Move to the bindings folder. Here we can find instructions for installation. Firstly, we have to install base dependencies. Copy this command and execute it. Note that you have to add sudo privilege. As has been written in the initialization of submodules section, we have to clone the DeepStream Python apps repository to this directory. So, copy it and move to this directory. Now clone this repository. Here we also need sudo privilege. Move to the DeepStream Python apps repository and execute the submodule update command. By running this command, we fetch all data from submodules, and by using init option, we initialize our local configuration file. Execute these commands to ensure that we add the new certificates which GST Python Git server uses. Now we are going to build and install GST Python. Move to the GST Python repository. Execute the autogen shell script. Then execute the make and make install commands. Now we are going to compile the bindings. Move to the bindings directory. Create a build directory and move to it. The sample shown here is for x86 architecture. But we are using Jetson, so we have to execute the CMake command with the pip platform argument and specify Linux Arch64 architecture. Hyphen D sets variables as cache variables, which means that even though they aren't set in the configuration files, they will be remembered. After build files are generated, execute the make command. Here we run two jobs simultaneously.
Finally, we are going to install generated pip wheel. Copy the directory in which the generated wheel file is located, and the file name. Execute the pip3 install command using join directory and file name. Now we can execute DeepStream Python examples. Move to the DeepStream test1 USB cam directory. Connect your USB camera to Jetson or Nano. Execute the DeepStream test1 USB Pi script. We have successfully launched inference example using DeepStream. Now let's use DeepStream with ROS2. Firstly, install the Vision Messages package. This is a message for interfacing with various computer vision pipelines, such as object detectors. Then, Please download the DeepStream ROS2 zip file from Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. As a base project, I have used this repository. But package structure and code are modified, since the original version works with Ubuntu 18 and ROS Eloquent, whereas we are using Ubuntu 20 and ROS Foxy. Now let's see the code. Move to the scripts directory and open the single stream class pi script. This code is based on the deep stream test one USB can script we previously executed and the code originally included in the ROS2 deep stream repository. Since in the original code, there is already a lot of comments explaining meaning of each operation, I will mainly describe uncommented parts of the code. Here, we append DeepStream library path to the Python path, so that our program can find the DeepStream library. In these lines, we are reading configuration files for inference task. In this line we are obtaining current frame number of the source. In the next line, we are obtaining number of object meta elements attached to the current frame. In the third line, we are obtaining a list of objects that belong to PyDS and VDS object meta type that are in use for the given frame. In this line, instance of object hypothesis message is defined. This message contains only ID and score information, so to get additional information about this ID, listeners should perform a lookup in a metadata database. In these lines, classifier metadata for an object is retrieved. In these lines, retrieved data from the stream is stored in result message which we defined previously. Now, let's execute the code. Move to DeepStream ROS2 directory and execute the colcon build command. Open a new terminal. Then, Execute the source command. After that, run single stream pi script. Note that we are specifying video device using ROS arguments.